this is a demonstration of a use of a scorpion for circumferential repair of a horizontal tear in the meniscus. So we're going to use the knee scorpion, which is a low profile device with a five degree curvature. I'm going to go in through a passport cannula for ease of suture management. We're going to come across here and I'm going to go circumferentially around this. We're going to go in the very posterior part of the meniscus and pass our stitch here. It has the fast pass, so it'll grab the suture. And I can come back around it like this. So I'm going to tie a little sliding knot here. And then what we're able to do with this O fiber wire is tie a knot. And then we're going to try to push the knot into the back of the meniscus. I'm going to push this into the very back of the knee under the capsule. Once I do that, I can pull on the opposite limb and this will cinch my stitch down. And we'll go in with our cutter, curved 2.0 fiber wire cutter. So I'm going to go in with that. I can still push my knot down a little more and then cut it. So this gives us a nice circumferential stitch here and then we can pass additional stitches anteriorly and posterior for a nice repair. Now we're going to place a second stitch anterior to the first one. What we're going to do this time is take our O fiber wire and place the very center of it through our uh, knee scorpion. So I'm going to go in and we're going to really create a loop in the back of the meniscus. I'm going to grab this Now we're going to pass a O fiber link and pass the loop down through the meniscus. So let me demonstrate that. And we're going to take the loop from the O fiber wire and pull that in here. I'm going to just use that as a shuttle. So now we have the loop and the stitches on the bottom of the meniscus. And now we're going to tie a little rack hitch. So I'm going to take the loop end of the fiber wire here. And I'm going to create a little rack like this. I've got this opening here. Now I'm going to take these free sutures and pass them through the opening like this. And then as I pull this down, it creates my knot. I'm going to slide that down. So I'm using the reusable knot pusher cutter. So I'm going to slide that knot down. I'm going to pull on each limb to really get it secured. And then when I'm ready, I can just cut it. So this is just another type of circumferential stitch. And we've got a very low profile knot here in the bottom. So this is our final repair here. It gives us a nice circumferential repair around this horizontal cleavage tear.